this is the sporting group. And this group really has 24 breeds of dogs in it. We're not going to talk about all 24. I'm going to point out some of the major ones and then give you some other ones that are um, very similar. Um, pointers is our first example. These are dogs that were developed about 200 years ago. They were developed in England. And they get their name from the stance that they take when they find game. So when they find something that they want to hunt, this is what they will do. They will actually point to it with their leg. Um, they can be a liver color, which is like that dark brown. Um, they can be lemon or blonde, um, black or orange, which is more of like a reddish color, um, either in combination with white or they can be a solid color. They're very even tempered, super affectionate, incredibly intelligent, and um, they're very patient with kids. So these would be a good dog to have around young children. The Irish Setter, this is one of my favorites. I think they're beautiful dogs. They're a very large setter and they're noted for this really solid red chestnut color. Um, they're also very quick. Um, they are loyal, they're very bold, and they're very tough dogs. Um, they are used for all types of game, but they train slower than some of the other breeds. Um, they're an ideal show dog, but if you're going to use it for hunting, you cannot also use it for show. Um, my mom had one of these dogs when she was growing up, and she said that she absolutely loved it. It was a beautiful dog and very sweet and affectionate, but unfortunately, the dog had epilepsy, which is one of the, the problems that we, we can see in a purebred Irish setter. American Cocker Spaniels, I mean, look at that face, how cute. Um, this is the smallest member of the sporting family. They're often that very kind of sandy blonde color. Um, they have sort of an elegant appearance about them. Very cheerful disposi dis uh, disposition, sorry, very happy dogs. Um, they're a very soft-hearted dog, and they really do make an excellent family pet. I know several families that have had them and loved them. Labrador Retrievers. This is what I always had growing up. We always had a purebred lab. Um, they were just super fun. Um, they were a lot of fun to have, especially when we went to the lake. We would throw the dummies in, and they would go out and retrieve them. Um, they're very active water dog, and um, they were really bred for that purpose. They were bred to swim out and get um, downed waterfowl, typically ducks. Um, they're very alert. They're so friendly. They are so cuddly. I mean, people would come to our house, and they'd be terrified of our dogs. He was so big, but really, he would just lick you to death. Um, they have a pretty easygoing temperament. They're very inquisitive. That is the one kind of, I don't want to say problem with them, but um, can be, can make it, can, can become an issue. Um, they will eat anything. Um, our dog literally chewed the siding off the house. Um, they're very dependable and it, they really have been, they've become one of the best breeds to use for guide dogs, for the blind, um, search and rescue work. They're very good. We've got a good little schnoz on them so they can find people very quickly. Um, the Brittany Spaniel, we're not going to talk in detail about these, but the Brittany Spaniel is another type of Spaniel. You can kind of see the, the similar hair texture to the Cocker Spaniel. The Clumber Spaniel, I think these dogs are so cute, and I just feel like the look of the dog just fits the name. I don't really know why, but they just look like you would call them a Clumber Spaniel. The English Cocker Spaniel, very similar to the American Cocker Spaniel just the British version. English setters, um, very similar to the Irish setter, except you can see the obvious difference in coat pattern. The German short-haired pointer, this is a pointer breed, so they do point to their game, um, but they have, they always have that kind of brown mottled um, look to their coat pattern. The German wire-haired pointer, another German breed, um, but they have a very wiry hair coat. It's not that soft, smooth hair coat. Golden Retrievers. My friend had one of these growing up, and he was literally just a love bug. Um, they are essentially long-haired labs, and they are just so cuddly and so friendly and just awesome, awesome dogs. Gordon Setters. Um, another type of setter, so it looks in body and in hair, um, at least texture, very much the same as the Irish setter or the English setter, but it has the coat coloration of a Doberman or a Rottweiler. Springer Spaniels, 
Um, this is another one of the smaller breeds, but they're not as small as the American Cocker Spaniel. But you can see they kind of have the same body structure to them. Weimar Honors, um, I had to take that. I mean, look at that picture. That's just such a goofy, goofy picture. But they are very, very sweet dogs. They are awesome. They are just so powerful, so strong. And they're very short-haired, smooth coat. Really cool dogs. Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, um, another one of my friends had one of these guys growing up. They're pretty cool. They're kind of like a kind of like a curly-haired lab almost. You can kind of see the hair coat on this one. Um, they have really curly fur. They don't shed a whole lot. All right, look to the next video for the hound group.